See, I'm a juggalo on YouTube. So this is what I'm supposed to do, right? Is this fucking thing? Fuck that thing. That thing fucking sucks. What up, y'all? I'm Creeper. Welcome to Juggalo Shit. So for this video, I'm going to do something that I don't typically do with my videos and talk almost exclusively about projects that I'm involved in. Uh, this is a very special occasion I'd like to add, so if you don't like it, uh, see that fucking thing? There go the door. Anyway, whoops, this week, that's the Juggalo webcomic that I do with my friend Yerk. We celebrated our 100th strip. Now, that might not seem like shit to you, but to us, that was a pretty big fucking milestone. You know, we scripted and Yerk wrote out and fucking published and drew up all fucking 100 of these scripts that between him and I, we got fucking under our belt. So we consider that an achievement. And if you don't like that, you can suck my fucking dick. Anyway, as far as I'm concerned between, you know, running the Instagram and fucking talking a bunch of bullshit on social media and fucking this, whatever the fuck this thing is, uh, I'm pretty much like the public face of the Whoops project. And I decided today I wanted to shed a light on the man known as Yerk. Because here's the actual reality of the situation. Without Yerk, there would be no whoops. I didn't have the fucking idea to do a Juggalo comic, you know what I mean? I just write for the motherfucker. This was all... And not only that, like, if you've seen my porn video, you know, the top ten porn genres of all time, you that that's my artwork, you know what I mean? That's me as an artist. Anyhow, um... The way that I see it, like, Yerk is responsible for the entire fucking thing. And he doesn't get, like, nearly enough credit, you know? So, today we're going to be doing 20 questions with my homeboy Yerk, alright? And, fucking, if you like this video, you know, like, share, and subscribe, or whatever. Uh, before I get into that, you know, I just wanted to wax sentimental about it. Because I had no idea where this shit with whoops would lead. Like the dropping the exclusive strips at DCG Con. That's not something we solicited, you know. We they they came to us with that idea, and I was just fucking blown away because it without that I'd have had nothing else to bring to the fucking table. But all right, uh, as we speak, my uh, producer is patching me in, so I gotta put on my six thousand dollar extra dimensional headset. All right, word. Okay, we got we got Yerk on the line. Yerk, what up? Thank you for being a part of the program. So I'm going to kick this interview off with the uh, obvious questions. Are you me? Ha ha ha. No, I'm not. I wish I was. That would be so cool. But I'm not. Are you an AI? Yerk does not think so. Of course, since I watched Blade Runner as a youngin, I've never really been sure. Who are you? I'm just a juggalo. And everywhere I go, people want to know about me. Hamala babala zibala bubala. Dope. So as you know, because you did the motherfucker, the 100th whoop strip dropped this week. What are your thoughts on achieving this milestone? Thought one, I'm geeking like a geek geeks during geeking season. Thought two, if it was still whoops by Yerk and just Yerk and nobody else. The series would already be over by now, and 100 never would have happened. The truth. Tell us about the creative process. Start with a script, written by me, Creeper, or both of us. Probably Creeper, to be honest. Edit the script and restructure it so that it can be easily translated into at least three different languages. Draw a layout of the characters, sometimes by simply drawing it out, but generally... I like to consult the astronomical tables first, to make sure all of the chi lines are intersecting properly. Yes, I said astronomical, not astrological. Astrology is a quack pseudoscience. Next, put the full strip together as a digital image. To be certain of quality, it is best to do this one or two pixels at a time. Finally, stuff it somewhere into the internet. This part is not very creative. Between the creative duo of Yerk and Creeper, you're the more low-profile character in the situation. Some might even call you a recluse. What's your response to these claims? 
to pull the blanket all the way over my head and talk to myself until it all goes away. Same. Favorite Fago flavor? Diet root beer. Now that's what's up. Alright, well the show is called Juggalo Shit. So talk about some Juggalo Shit. Juggalos are awesome. They are inspired and inspiring. Not all of them, not all the time. But enough of them enough of the time to make the whole thing seem like one long, really long, really, really long, long magic trick. Realistically, what can I tell the viewers about Juggalo Shit? They live Juggalo Shit. Back to Whoops. You're the creator. The OG. The mind behind the madness. How does shit feel, dog? Well, you know the feeling you get when you are just chilling on your couch, really settled in, but then the phone rings, and since you've been expecting a call, you leap up to answer it right away, but you stood up way too fast, and all the blood rushed out of your cranium too quickly, so you are right on the edge of passing out, and the person on the other end of the phone sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher. A little like that. Well said, my friend. So if you could pit any two fictional characters against each other, who would they be and why? After more thought than I should admit to, I settled on Chewbacca the Wookiee versus a Predator. In a hand-to-hand -hand cage fight, to the death, the reason why, I think that card speaks for itself. Hit me with an unpopular opinion. Starbucks tastes like wet garbage. Agreed 100%. Fuck that place. Tell the audience something about Yerk that they don't already know. I don't have nipple rings. Actually, to be technical, I do have one, but it is more of a trophy than anything else. If you could be any mythological creature, what would you be? I would be a mighty and majestic Whoopasaurus. Supposedly, most of their vocalizations came from the ass, and I can relate to that. What's Yerk's favorite fried chicken joint? You a franchise guy, or is there a local joint you like? These are the burning questions that the Whoops audience needs to know. Popeye's chicken strips are the shit, but our Popeye's went under because nobody ever bought anything else. Our KFC went under because the place was a god-awful nightmare of a dump. Really bad. The local cooks can do up some beef or other mammal meat, but when it comes to chicken, it tends to be safer to rely on corporate food safety regulations. Now that KFC is dead. Better yet, though, cook that shit up yourself, just the way your taste buds want it. What are your thoughts on aliens? Are they here? Are they queer? Should we get used to it? Aliens exist, probably. They are most likely so weirdly different from us that we can't even comprehend each other, though. If they are here, then they are living in the shittiest, most backwater middle of nothing accommodations imaginable, even though there is no doubt they could get comp for life at the Ritz. So, I'm gonna say, not here. I suppose that a certain proportion of them are probably queer, at least by the standards of their own plumbing. So, we probably should get used to it. Word up. So it's confirmed that Yerk is going to be in the house for DCG Con. Do you have any clues to offer attendees? who are hoping to meet Yerk and perhaps get their DCG Con exclusive Whoops comic strip signed? Any clues at all? Something to offer a taste. A taste of who you are. A taste of who you really, really, really are. Okay, I'm a Caucasian male. I will definitely not be wearing a tuxedo. Let us be fair, Yerk is a pseudonym. Nobody is ever saying, hey, there go Yerk. Because that's just a pen name. In other words, Asking around about where Yerk is might not help much. Look, I'm just some guy. Another juggalo. I'm not all that reclusive. I hang out and play and stuff. People will figure out who I am, and after they get over the slight disappointment, they'll remember that it is all about us, not me. I'll gladly sign your shit though, if you want. It is the least I can do. Since this one is question 17, What's the most mind-blowing moment for you in your personal Juggalo history? Let me tell you what blows my mind, even though it is not a moment, because it is still going on today. The connections that Juggalos have between each other. If you took a piece of string, and stretched from me, to this Juggalo, to that Juggalo, and on and on, as all of us come and go in and out of each other's lives, in the end you would have a perfect scale model of the Juggalo universe. No. Wait, 
You would have a big crazy looking cobweb made of string. I'm not explaining this well. What I'm saying is, being a juggalo, and doing juggalo shit with other juggalos, has led to and continues to lead to mind-blowing coincidences that seem to cause even more mind-blowing coincidences. Let me put it this way, most of the time, when Yurk tells a juggalo story, he has to tell two more stories to explain why the first one happened, which means he has to tell two more stories to explain the first backstory before he can even get to the second backstory, which means he has to explain. You see? Damned stories keep twisting back into one gigantic story that is so complicated even I don't understand it, and I'm supposed to be the one living it. You fucking asked. Elegantly stated, my friend. So, Juggalos are into some underground shit. I myself like obscure horror with an international scope. What's some fringe, non-Juggalo-related underground shit that Yerk's into? Military history. Until about the mid-20th century. The world was shaped by great battles more than any other happenstance. For some international scope, I will add that I like to sample music from other nations. Mostly hip-hop, of course. Hip-hop is global, I think it may be universal. Back to DCG Con. Now, people might not know this, but I actually met you at last year's Dark Carnival Games convention. Uh, the DCG Con's been pretty cool for opening up the focus on the nerdy aspects of juggalo culture which are oft overlooked what's some nerd flavor that yurk is into are you like a gaming ninja do you do like tabletop or some shit do you do like nypd blue cosplay or some shit shit like that nypd blue cosplay is a thing i may have to show up dressed as dennis Franz's ass yurk is down with just about anything that makes juggalos smile and laugh and feel good about ourselves and each other DCG Con is perfect for that, in some ways better suited than even the gathering. There is something for everybody, and if you are a juggalo, there are a lot of somethings for you. If it's fun, who cares how nerdy it is? I don't know if there is any nerd flavor that I'm not down with. Just make it fun. Aw, oh, hell yeah, pimp. Do you have any closing words for the viewers watching this video right now? Specifically the readers of Whoops? You are all so incredibly dope. So there you have it, kids. I wanted to thank Yerk once again for stopping by and chopping it up with me. But uh, I also wanted to thank you guys, you know. Anybody who's down with my videos, who's watched my videos, or fuck my videos. Any and everybody who's down with whoops. Whoop whoop to you too, dude, you know. Because uh, at the end of the day, it's y'all who we're doing this shit for. So... I've been real humbled by the fact that so many people seem to feel it on the same level that me and Yerk do, you know, and they find the shit just as funny, because that's what, you know, we're just here to fucking laugh along with y'all, so I'm, I feel like, you know, I'm real happy to have your support and everything, you know, um, next week I'm probably going to be back with more flavor, the real flavor and shit, you know, it's just this week the Whoops 100 fucking dropped, and I had to be a sentimental little cupcake about it, all right, so thank you for, uh, Sticking around with my sweet ass. I'll see y'all next time. Love y'all guys.